Yo, good morning everybody. It's uh, back from uh, a few weeks off, had a holiday and had some uh, illness. So I was uh, under the weather for a whole week. But hey, that's over. And now I'm back. First of all, I want to say hi to Mel Cover. Welcome uh, to already join the stream so early. Always nice to uh, have some people in the chat to interact with and ask me some questions and uh, say what I, I'm doing wrong, most likely, right? And all right, so for today, I was planning to do the Archdruid deck once more. It has been a while since I actually played it, but I finally got enough fusion stones and voila, my Mr. Archdruid Aaron has reached level four. And basically that means that you play two spells from your hand, which is really, really good because that's what we want. So we can summon uh, Militia, Call for Aid and Needle Blast. Not sure about Call for Aid, just in my previous video, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I could use Blade Storm or I don't know, Potion of Grove. Kindred's Grace, you can combine this deck with a Winter Pack deck where you will play with uh, Rust Call, the Gift of the Wise, obviously, which you get a lot of mana boost and combined with Freebooters, you can play thousands of cards on turn uh, on seven mana turn. But hey, we just play Call for eight because it's fun and <clears throat> why not, right? So, what is going on at the moment is nothing much. It's soon a uh, Dragon update for Stormbound, which I'm really curious to see how actually it will be played by all of you guys. So a lot of players go to play with the new dragons. First of all, it will be in the lower ranks, but hopefully soon enough, another season or two or it will also reach the higher ranks where we saved our fusion stones and uh, leveled up those cards or just paid for them. All right, so basically this is deck. Nothing out of the ordinary, basic early game stuff. And so got an Ubas in here. Needle Blast, Call for Aid, just ping them to death with the uh, help of Ubas and Needle Blast. I think that's it. So let's start the match. I will also look at the previous deck list just to be sure it's at least somewhat similar. <clears throat> what was my previous video's deck list? Somewhere in my Stormbound folder. Pam pam pam. Yep, it's just the same. Only Arch Druid was level three and Needle Blast was level four. So both of those uh, got some power. All right, Mister. I'm not sure if this is a bot or not. So I got a vibe. I'm dealing with a bot. Oh, this is always really, really good. This card gets nerfed next week because it's really good. It uh, loses one of its strength, so it still stays really good. But you have to use its ability to get value out of it, which makes sense, right? If you want to have a card that's like a Westwind Sailors without movement. That can deal up to 12 damage. This guy is pretty aggressive. Yeah. Uh, the safe way to do is uh, green prototypes first mid near. Most likely we will never get our laws hurt in our hands. A bit more greedy could be Ubas. Because then it's 14. This is 11. 
think I will just do the safe one. Playing against Swarm, right? Hopefully discard double box. And I'm a lucky man. I am Mr. Lucky. All right, also curious to see what was the previous uh, score of my deck. I have not the score enabled yet, so let's do that as well. Well, I was wondering if this was a bot or not. I think it's obviously it isn't. Let's also do something on the high quality because I see my FPS is dropping a bit. Just want to make sure everything is smooth as possible. So let's close down some stuff. I don't know. Yep, yeah, I think this is a. Uh, well, what you say, a cheap deck, right? Maybe I was a bit more. I don't know. If this guy is not even playing. And it shouldn't matter much. Hopefully, the stream quality isn't stuttering too much. Because I got a feeling it is. Please let me know. No cover. Even playing the swarm, this deck looks unfair. Yeah. I think uh, if you have some nice Arch Druid combos going on, then it's pretty hardcore. <clears throat> Let's just uh, skip this turn. I think this guy is already giving up. Just walked away from his phone or computer. Cool. And I will try to figure it out in the meanwhile. I don't like it. I feel that my computer is just like failing me a bit. And I have no clue why that is. Yay! I don't know what my mission is. Just let's do some stuff. Cool. Yeah, but it's annoying, right? Needs to be like I'm playing Stormbound on a laptop, which can also play good stuff. I think it's to do with my OBS settings. Just continue playing, right? I don't want to waste those uh, enjoyable minutes. Well, this counts as a win, but this guy basically forfeited. Defeat structures, defeat more stuff. Ironclad strength. I like this mission. I will do. Uh... Cool, this is better. Alright, so let's continue with the next one video. Right, at least my uh, OBS studio says I'm currently running at uh, 56 uh, FPS, so that's way better. So that's good, so let's focus on the games once more.
All right, what we're gonna do? A lot of good stuff. Do we want to search for an basically a six? Do we want to search for a one drop? Because we're definitely gonna use some militia with one of these guys or some militia next turn double box. Let's get really greedy. Well, I don't know. I think uh, Shady Ghoul is better. Also, more board control. Never mind. Forty pH. Takes too much time. I'm not even close to turn seven. I think I like this the best. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Yeah, most people when they see Aaron's like, what? What's going on with this guy? So it's always good. There are more of those cards that I use in some of my decks. Where they're just like, what? I think it's a bit more common now, but Harvester of Souls. I never saw it a lot on the higher ranks. And uh, well, structures are getting quite popular as well but before when you just play the Mia deck ah this is pretty good for him and not so good for me yeah I need to yeah <laughs> let's just recycle this guy most likely not gonna play it. What's this for annoying stuff? This deals only two damage. This is six. I want him with any dragon synergy. I doubt he has. Because this card is on itself already good enough, I guess. You can hit it like uh, two times. I play it like this, the dragons. Because I think it's a bit uh, easier if he... Yeah, if I place it like this, he needs to attack, right? Most likely has a lot of movement cards. But now it protects this spot, and the next turn it protects the spot above. But otherwise this guy would have standing here with 10 HP. So there isn't much difference. Alright, this is really good. Should have played it here. Being more annoying. Well, I have a lot of unit types, so most likely planning to play Yubas. But I'm a bit scared. So I can try to deal with this for 11. But from that point forward, it will just become very annoying. I will just have a lucky guess, hopefully shoot this one all right ah, I just wanted to have 
Maybe eight. I shouldn't have discarded uh, first mutineers or bad plays. I was unlucky, but if I didn't discard the yeah, I guess like Harold's him or Forgotten Souls, then these guys would walk in, and I could finish off the job. I was basically hoping to get some more juicy of that. But the weird thing is if he doesn't do it. Is he gonna attack this one? Pretty sweet. Because yeah, he would get 9. So my Shady Guru could kill him. I think now this guy is really screwed. Wow, not screwed. Probably shouldn't have discarded my guy. I really need to destroy this guy. If it comes here, 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 it would be pretty sweet. Okay, so basically what I was thinking was placing him here or here. Now he needs to deal seven damage. If he tries to kick this one, it spawns backwards. So he has to deal seven damage here, then I can move. Otherwise, he could have cards. Well, I just got wrecked. I just got wrecked. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> to be honest. Don't like to admit it. But <laughs> it was a pretty good move. All right. I need some epic needle blast. I'm scared. Basically, I think I need to place my archer with Aaron right here. Hope it triggers needle blast first. Calls for eight on my own guy. And then he hope. What? It's never going to happen. This is good. Woo, let's put on some scary space. Yeah. At least I got a lot of value on board. But Harold's him, Forgotten Souls. Well, it's gonna be tough for him to deal 12 damage. Two movement. Well played, sir. Can't always get lucky. All right, that makes it one one for the score at the moment. Put the score on as well. Keeping, keeping track of it. Jakikso, Jesikso, Jesiko. Whatever you pronounce it. Welcome, Mr. Ironclad. I will do my best to kick your ass. I'm basically gonna recycle call for eight. Way too expensive. I 
I'm not gonna deal with this synergy at the moment. So let's just keep it at five so my green prototypes can still clear it off. Also, I need to check the kitchen for a second. So I will make a quick run. Right -o. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's the ironclad decks. Always curious if I will ever see arm schemers in the game or the windmakers. And uh, currently, also the sound driver combos. I don't see them often, but they are definitely in the definitely here sometimes. Do -do. And try to be really aggressive. Or just do this. Well, for now, let's clear it. Don't want him to have any baseline and no. Robots on the board. So, do we see a dragon deck with Elof? If he has like spare dragon links, then this guy would be become pretty pretty strong it's good to see he doesn't rush me down so i can definitely uh, aim to get some nice value three four six let's just not get in there Well, I'm gonna call for eight, so I can wait for Arch Druid Aaron. Get that combo going. With Shady Ghoul, then it will always place behind. Nice. It's pretty good if he cannot buff this guy anymore. Then it also clears up and gives me space for call for eight. This is cleared.
I will do this just to increase my call for eight chances to make it 50-50. Nice. It's also better for my Ubas. Because it's my only construct. And he's gone. Oh, never lucky that guy. He wasn't lucky. No cover. Did you uh, do you have uh, Archdruid Aaron in your deck? Or in one of your decks? Collect me some coins for the update. I will definitely want to have the cards. I can still use some uh, access cards for fusion stones, but not enough to play all the four new dragon cards. What's up with your kappa? Da -da. Let's update the score as well. Always recycle call for aid. Shitty hand. It's good for green prototypes. Giovanni Paolo Swarm Diamond 4 Got the best hand in the world All my big mana cards Ah, just level 1 Yeah, then it Doesn't work, right? <clears throat> it's just too weak But you could have fun with it on that ah, What's going on with these guys? So many plebs. Time for this shit. That is 12, this 10. Shitty walk. Ping those guys. Yeah, and Diamond 1 is. Then you should at least have level 3. And then it's just more for the fun. I think on level 4 it becomes uh, on a competitive uh, diamond uh, level. R. Well, 50-50 chance. Was well, this one. It's recycled. Discard Needle Blast. What's up? Pop Champ. Alright, let's get in the later turns. Getting 5 on his baseline soon. It's the ultimate defense of 5. <coughs> Which uh, legendary do you prefer the most to play with? Nice. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. Ah, he thinks I'm Swarm, right? See, that's the magic of Swarm. He's just getting scared because I could kick his ass, but I'm not actually doing that. There, nice. Just want to play it right here. So it could force this guy to spawn upwards, getting another 5 damage, which is super annoying. But at least uh, I got some defenses on my baseline, and he only got one strength. 
Hopefully he's doing the weird tactic where he places all his units behind. Then I just conflict his Drake and says. So they all die. Ah, those draconic roamers. Our draconian irritation. Here. Ah. Thank you, my friend. That's a good boy. This is always good. Yeah. I was hoping for another gifted recruits or something, so I killed them both. Now I will just pray. Should have played there. I was afraid if this doesn't get killed, it wouldn't make sense. And now he has to deal with six damage first before you can start dealing base damage. Well, and this is also eight, so he wouldn't do that. And in my next turns, these guys will protect my baseline once again. Would be nice if Archduke Aaron. Unless he has like a weird. Thing. All right, let's do some math. So I need to kick this ass. If I deal this one, this dies. This is six. So I cannot play Archduke Aaron. All right, so let's do this. The first mutineer are left over, so he needs to clear my Ubas. Otherwise, my first mutineer gets into his base. So, sorry, I was completely focused on the game. Okay. But also, yeah. But do you think that like if you use a lot of high legendaries it becomes a bit like pay to win or cuz I see a lot of people who doesn't pay anything who also has like a level 5 uh, Ubas for example. It doesn't do anything. But your uh, level, like Siren, Galaxy, Mirrors and Tegor are level 3 legendaries. I think if you have like legendaries on level 5, they become stronger than cards. Because you have like, for example, uh, Counselor Ami is just a better version of West Wind Sailors. In that case, I completely agree. <clears throat> Alright, what's he going to do? I try to play with, uh, not per se the biggest fan of uh, legendary cards, but 
well, they have nice abilities. For example, I like Mia just to have like structure, Dex, Fireball, or like Suri to have a buff Dragon Swarm deck. Oh, you just mean you go white on all the cards, upgrading. I said I actually uh, prefer myself as well. I don't want those, uh, like, one deck games where I can just play one deck and then cannot do anything else. Alright, 3 to the 1. I think it's also more enjoyable. We have a lot of games out there where you need to upgrade stuff, right? If you go for Clash Royale, for example. I always play those games where I just go really wide upgrading all the cards. And eventually cards get higher. Because I think Archdruid Aaron is my second level 4 legendary. And I have 18 base health. Which I compare to guys who have encountered with only 14 base health. Already has like uh, Ubas level 5. And then Safana on level 4. And all, all those cards also level 5. They just live to get like one perfect deck. Let's hope for green prototypes. But yeah, in the end it just matters what you like yourself the most, right? If people like to just... Grandmaster one deck to the highest rank or enjoy playing all the possible varieties. What's this guy doing? This guy has a lot of aggression on the board. Don't want this one, it's just too slow. Think I will go for some buzz hits. Just chip those guys off. Oh, I'm getting pretty sad. At least I'm happy that my Ubas get uh, the 4 strength from the green prototypes. Comes 7 strength again. But I'm getting a lot of base damage at the moment. Hopefully deals with my cards. Restless Goats. Yeah, he doesn't deal with any of my cards. Which is annoying. Well, this is a good day to be me. I will play it here. So I can play first mutineer right here. So it protects my baseline again. Hopefully next turn I get my uh, Archdruid Aaron. Oh, I forgot that. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Never mind. I'm speaking words, but not thinking. The milk cover, you also played the faction tournament, right? How did you like it? Mm. 
Place them in this. These two. Arg. I think this will just be too greedy. And this one is just too random. It's like four out of nine is in a position. At least all the damage gets soaked. Next turn, 11 strength on his baseline. So he needs to make decision. Kill me right now or start defending his own base. Swarm callers. Interesting decision. Oh, I've got three different unit types. Never going to play this one. Well, this just happened. Makes me a very happy man. Oh, like the moderator of Shadow Fan just uh, was gone or something? That's pity. Yeah, I definitely agree. At the beginning, there was way, way, way more energy compared to the the end of the tournament. It's a bit disappointing where people just didn't show and just hoping to see guys getting there. Well, let's feed the people. With what they want, let's ping him. Yeah, it's a bit... Uh, I like the whole idea of the tournament where we had like factions and we grouped together in an ironclad. I was also uh, discussing decks with uh, fellow faction members and looking at them for improvements, help them out with making better decks or deck changes which was really nice and fun to do so I, yeah maybe it just took too long like people don't know what they're going to do in three weeks how uh, busy they are with stuff I think that's why uh, tournaments needs to be like short term But it was nice to see uh, that a lot of uh, players actually did participate and still a lot of players were uh, being enthusiastic. Alright. I think this is it for now because I need to be back in the kitchen. I think the oven is done and I need to do some stuff to prepare that and then I'm off. Mostly uh, Melcover, thank you for watching. It was uh, nice that you were in the were in the stream. Maybe I wasn't that uh, energetic this time around. Hopefully it will improve for the next ones. And uh, <clears throat> it will be nice. Maybe uh, next time we can also do some matches together. 
Let's experiment with some uh, fun decks or whatever. It will be nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah, then it doesn't help, right? If you don't communicate, like the question for the Shadowfen faction tournament, you have to have people who want to participate and be enthusiastic about it. Yeah, I think we had uh, also Frozen, which is really active. I was active in the chat, and a few other more well-known uh, Discord uh, guys participating. Yeah, I think just that helps. But it happens when tournaments also, uh, like those players maybe come from like Kong Forum or Reddit or just Facebook. <clears throat> but cool. Was nice. Was a pleasure. Hopefully see you next time and uh, maybe uh, do something uh, more. Let's play together a bit. Or suggest a deck or let's build a deck together. For the guys who are watching on YouTube, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream or the video or the VOD, however you want to call it. It was a pleasure to do streams again, live. I wanted to do it more, but uh, well, just what I said in the beginning of my stream, like uh, holiday and sick. I'm still not feeling that well. So hopefully uh, next time everything will go a bit smoother. And uh, I think next time will be maybe tomorrow. And if it isn't tomorrow, then it will be next week with the new updates. And I will definitely give those a shot. And we'll make uh, hopefully four videos with each of them. Where I try to make a nice deck around the card and uh, see how viable it is. And if I can do some uh, butt kicking in uh, the Diamond League. Or with subscribers or followers or whatever. Anyway, I've talked too much. Thank you guys for watching and see you later. And thanks, more coffee.